I've had my father sit down with me every semester and say to me, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get the money to send you to school next semester. It was a perpetual fear that I wouldn't be able to finish my degree, but I'd still be stuck with all of the debt accumulated. And after three or so semesters, that fear and that proximity to failure became internalized. The reality for DACA students like myself is, is not the same. Just a few hours ago, the Arizona Supreme Court took away institution for DACA students. So now we're facing another institutional battle to stay in school. I have less than three semesters left, and now I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm currently a Master of Public Administration um, student, and I want to get back and do public service. But in order to have gone through bachelor's and master's, I work full time and I also work part time. So I have both those positions. And there was a point in my studies last year where I had to go to the hospital because my white blood cell count was so high from the stress that like my body thought something was attacking itself. Just take a step back and just think about how crazy all of this is, all right? You are not living in a poor country. You are living in the wealthiest country in the history of the world. And any sensible country wants its young people not to have to deal with the incredible stress that you guys are dealing with, but to get the full experience and to be as prepared as you can be when you get out into the real world. That's what we need from you, not to get sick or not to stand, deal with the enormous anxiety, not to mention the DACA situation. If you were going to college in Germany right now, how much debt would you have when you graduated college? Zero. In fact, there are American students going to Germany and getting a free higher education. So other countries understand the importance of making education available to all people and not saddling them with enormous debt. And that's what we're trying to do. I come from um, a military background. My parents are both in the military. Um, so I was technically first generation to go to an actual uh, college. Even with the GI Bill, though, um, between the cost of two kids, we weren't able to pay for a full out-of-state tuition at UMass, which right now is about $44,000 a year. So How much? $44,000 a year. At UMass? Yes. Wow. Yes. With all the cost and fees. Yeah. There's a number out there, and I don't remember what it is, of the percentage, I mean it's really mind-blowing, of the percentage of students in college who are working, and working crazy hours, which obviously impacts your ability to get a college experience and to put the time you need into your studies. What I would ask of you is to stand with us on this issue and fight with us. We can win this thing. And when people say to you, well, if you make public colleges and universities tuition free, it's going to cost a lot of money. Well, you're right, it will. But you tell them that it makes a lot more sense for this country to do that, to make public colleges and universities, make sure you don't leave school deeply in debt, than it does to give incredible tax breaks to billionaires or to spend $165 billion in the next two years on the military. Most Americans would prefer, vast majority in my view, would prefer to invest in you rather than tax breaks for billionaires or more weapons that we may not need. We can win this fight, okay? Just rally your uh, friends and uh, colleagues all across the country, okay? All right, I gotta run, but all right. Thank, anyone wanna do a photograph here? Should we do one together? Okay, why don't we all get together and see if we can do that?